So we finished off episode three last week with putting the last pieces in the hull, basically closing it up. So in week four, I will get on to fairing the hull, sanding it down in preparation for fiberglass, and hopefully maybe even before the end of the week, actually fiberglassing the hull. Hey, and you notice something different? Got a haircut. Finally, my barber is open. So the first part of the fairing process, of it, I'm going to try and get rid of the bottom. Uh, smooth, <coughs> I'm going to want to smooth out the bottom here first. Some of these strips are a little bit thicker, so they're quite uneven. So it's going to take quite a bit of work to smooth that and round over the bottom of the boat where the yellow is. The softer uh, red cedar on the sides here is, is a little bit more even, so really all I want to do is just knock off that high point between the strips. kayak here it's a little bit of a concave and I can't really get my block plane in there maybe a smaller plane the other tool that I like to use is a molding scraper this one is a Veritas by Lee Valley they don't make this one anymore so it's pretty valuable to me but uh, you can use it nicely to knock off glue that is on there before hitting it with you know, fingers or other planes And lastly, on deep concave areas, more so on the inside of the boat, I've uh, changed the uh, profile of this little uh, Japanese wood block plane, also from Lee Valley, by changing the, uh, instead of being a flat surface with a flat blade, rounded it over and curved the blade so I can actually get in and spray it. And then it's time to begin shaping the outside stems and the fastest way to knock material down here is with my power planer. Then I'll move on to my block plane, followed by spoke shape to get nice and close. And out comes the belt sander with 80 grit. Smooths out everything pretty nicely. Everything starts to blend together, all the wood becomes almost one. the belt sander I just move on to my orbital sander and here I'm sanding the whole boat very slowly and carefully with 80 grit on my random orbital sander. Get on the orbital sander, then I will uh, hit the bottom of the boat in the round spots with my fairing board, which is just uh, one point of your sandpaper glued to a flexible board. And after all this initial sanding, it's time to wet it down, raise the grain of the wood, and have a look at how beautiful the different colors of the wood are.
I rolled out a piece of 6 ounce by 38 inch wide fiberglass and I'm just smoothing it out with a heavy brush pushing hard and pushing any excess towards the ends. It's nice to have a bit of excess hanging down to catch any drips but I don't need it hanging down so far that it's going to end up being glued to my strong back from the drips and the glass and trim over the ends. And with that, I'm going to leave this overnight. I'm going to turn the heat up in here because it'll get cool in the evening. I want to start first thing tomorrow morning with temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees. It is now about 8.30 in the morning. I've had the heat on all night long. The temperature says it's about 75 degrees. I've just set up my workstation here. I've got my 105 resin, my 207 special clear hardener, some mixing cups, some stir sticks, I like to use the 3M Bondo spreader. I like them a little bit softer. I have brushed out the glass since it's been kind of relaxing on there nicely overnight. I'm going to put some gloves on, put some masks on and get to it. So I've mixed up about you know, 10 ounces of epoxy in a cup, mixed it well, and I'm just going to start at one end of the boat and work my way all the way to the other end, making sure that all the glass is nicely saturated and that's not all dripping all over the floor. I'll jump from one side of the boat to the other and then keeping sort of a nice wet edge moving down the boat. I don't want any major drips anywhere that aren't sort of saturated well. Just going to keep that line moving from the stern of the boat to the bow. In the very vertical areas I find it easier to actually pour the epoxy onto my spreader down the bottom and then we'll bring it up. Yeah, it, it tends to run a lot in these areas but I uh, just want to make sure the glass gets well saturated. With the boat fully saturated and the glass clear, it's time to start to remove all the excess. Just using the spreader, pulling it on sort of a 45 degree angle, not pressing too hard, pulling down to the bottom, and then just scraping off that excess we call grunge into my grunge cup. That's the first coat of epoxy on the boat. I'm very pleased with how that went. It's nice and clear, nice and smooth. Be back in here in about three hours to put on a second coat, which goes on a lot easier with a roller. It's been a little over three hours now. The first coat is starting to set up really nicely. It is still a bit tacky, more so on the end that I finished on, but I think I'm okay to uh, get the second coat on. So what I basically do, which I'll show in the video, is mix up epoxy, spread it around quickly with my spreader, and then roll it out with a roller and tip it off with a brush. My goal is to get three more coats on the kayak today and then let it sit for maybe 24 hours before rolling it over.
The last thing I'm going to do before rolling the boat over is cut off this glass that's overhanging the end here. Very sharp edges here. I'm just going to knock it down with a little sure form scraper. Then I'll need to sand the whole area smooth with some 80 grit the area in which I will be applying a bias cut piece of fiberglass to reinforce the ends and the bottom of the boat. Just to make sure that you can't see any fiberglass fabric ends, just wipe it down with some acetone or lacquer thinner and if it looks nice and clear then we're ready to fiberglass. Here I'm just cutting a bias cut piece of six ounce fiberglass about four inches wide. Cutting on the bias means that the glass will conform to the compound curve on the ends of the boat. Simplest way to apply this little strip is to just, I'm going to put some epoxy on the boat here, let it soak into the bare wood on the very end, and then I will put this, stick the piece on and add more epoxy. Rather than use my uh, squeegee on here to pull out the excess and to get the glass to clear, I'm just going to keep using my brush here, taking off what I can. If I see little white strands in there, then I'm just going to push in. It's likely it is air, so by dabbing, I'm just going to bring the air out to the surface and then I can smooth it out. I have the extra strip of glass on both ends now, saturated in epoxy. A couple hours from now, I'll just put a second coat on. Tomorrow, I will sand down the rough edges of that piece of glass so that I don't cut myself when I roll the boat over. But I don't need to fully saturate it and feather it in right now. I'll have lots of time to do that later. That's all we're going to get to in week four of building Scanna. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to become a subscriber, I believe it's right down there in the corner there, or maybe there, I don't know. And in next week's episode, week five, I'll have the boat rolled over, start working on the deck. So thank you very much for tuning in. See you next week.